Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of healing and recovering from heartbreak. Um, this is be getting to a place where you feel ready to move forward. Some sort of past hurts or pain that you experience no longer affects you as deeply as it once did. It no longer informs the decisions that you make moving forward. There's something here about getting over some sort of emotional pain or distress. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Here we have the Fool, Aquarius energy, the Queen of Swords, Air energy, and we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So yeah, there's definitely a, a feeling of no longer having a certain amount of baggage from a previous heartbreak because the Fool card is a feeling of having a bit of a more of a light energy, being ready to love again, being ready and open and available enough to get into a relationship you know there's something here about um, embarking on a new journey and feeling optimistic believing in love again um you know having that faith you know with this full card and knowing that you are divinely protected so there could be um an energy of going all in to a relationship you know you may have been slow to get into this relationship with the queen of swords being here there's an energy of you being cautious and uh, very analytical and um you know not easily giving your heart to someone or not easily committing to someone because of a past heartbreak and it does look like there is someone here who is checking off all your boxes this person is proving themselves worthy of you kind of allowing yourself to fall fall for them you know and commit to them because the hierophant is a card of commitment it's a higher level of commitment there is virtual um compatibility here you're connecting with someone who um you know they may be quite a traditional kind of person you know there's something about them doing things the proper way or doing things in a conventional way you know the safe way and you may be viewing this partner or this person as the safe partner you know and looking at them as someone who you can have something long term with it's like this person had to kind of prove themselves to you and there is this energy of approving of them you know being ready to to embark on this journey with them okay so let's clarify these cards Sagittarius Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So um, this could be the energy that you were in. You know, there is this feeling of overthinking, being very analytical, and looking for any red flags, being very focused on potential negatives because you've been hurt in love. You know, the Queen of Swords is someone who has become... Uh, they've developed a hard shell because of their experiences you know she became like this because of what she went through and you know it's like a bit of a cold energy or no nonsense energy and it does look like this was the result of a past heartbreak and um that you could have been very analytical with this person this is someone who you were holding them to a high standard you know there's this feeling of really making sure that this is someone who is not trying to pull a fast one or um you know just making sure that there's not any red flags so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say 
we have the seven of swords in the reverse air energy the three of pentacles earth energy and the five of swords in the reverse air energy yeah it does look like you you are choosing to collaborate with this person you're choosing to get into a relationship with them and build something with them uh the three of pentacles does show that there's a good foundation here you may have even taken things a bit slow to begin with but this is a connection that does have the potential to really become long-term and successful you are dealing with someone who's quite an open book and it does look like you appreciate this person's transparency because it does make you feel safe with them the seven of swords being in the reverse also shows that they don't have malicious intentions this is someone who will be very open and honest with you and they will earn your trust um there is this feeling of sharing a lot with you they could be quite uh talkative uh this is not someone who's too secretive um and there is something about them being honest um, with the three of pentacles you you and this person are building something together there's this energy of you guys being quite compatible working together as a team and also you seeing a lot of things that you have in common with this person um, and with the five of swords in the reverse there's again confirmation that they don't have bad intentions um, in the reverse the five of swords is looking at you as their teammates you know this is someone who's thinking about the greater good of the relationship this is not someone who wants to compete with you or someone who has a big ego this is someone who is genuine and values peace harmony and relationship security they actually want this to work out um, there's something quite healthy about this person emotionally mentally they are also spiritually aware and it does look like um there is the potential here for a very successful beautiful love to begin okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius Okay, we have the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so it does look like this connection is really starting to move forward um you're kind of starting to open up or trust this person more to the point where you can kind of um you know uh melt the ice a bit you know because that queen of swords you may have had a bit of a guard up um but you're allowing this person to prove themselves to you and it does look like things are progressing to the next level this connection is starting to to, to um take shape or form okay so i'm gonna put another card for you We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so things are definitely moving forward this could be happening soon or it's currently happening but there's this feeling of things really you're seeing progress and forward movement okay so let's see we have nobility and self-esteem there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men true nobility lies in being superior to your former self so this looks like you there is this energy here of you growing as a person um this love is definitely showing up as quite healing and um it's not like the past connection especially that one that broke your heart this is a different person this is a more evolved more mature person and even a more compatible person and it does look like you're also growing through this connection um, there is a corrective experience that's taking place through this love connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. we have surrendered to complete healing open fully 
to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So this connection is going to be very healing. It is part of your healing journey, and it does look like, um, you know, this the universe sends you who you need at the time. You know, there's something about this connection that is is very necessary. And with the full card, it, you guys are divinely protected. There's something about this connection that's a blessing. Okay, so. That's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.